A major problem with America's healthcare system is that consumers, for the most part, do not directly pay for healthcare. Instead, they use a third-party payer system that cripples market forces. Regardless of the Supreme Court's Obamacare decision, this is a problem that should be fixed. When we buy goods and services with our own money, we are very careful about how much we spend and how we spend it. We tend to shop around in order to find the best quality goods at the best price. But when somebody else is footing the bill, the price doesn't matter so much and people don't have any incentive to be smart shoppers. My name is Julie Borowski from FreedomWorks and I'm narrating this Economics 101 video from the Center for Freedom and Prosperity to explain why third-party payer is the biggest economic problem with America's healthcare system and what we can do about it. Consumers used to pay for much of their healthcare expenses like they pay for other things by opening a billfold, writing a check, or with some other sort of payment plan. Now, as the chart on the screen shows, the share of payments financed directly by consumers has declined dramatically over the last 50 years. Part of the problem is government programs such as Medicare and Medicaid, as was discussed in other Center for Freedom and Prosperity videos. The key factoid to remember is that various government programs directly pay for about half of all healthcare spending. But government intervention has also screwed up the supposedly private part of our healthcare system. When the federal government decided that compensation in the form of fringe benefits was tax-free, it created an incentive for employers and employees to gold-plate health plans. As a result, health insurance has started to cover routine medical expenses and today it is treated as a form of medical prepayment rather than risk insurance. A person with typical health insurance coverage, for instance, only pays a small copayment when visiting the doctor for even a simple checkup. The transformation of health insurance into medical prepayment, sort of a prepaid all-you-can-eat buffet, has crippled the functioning of the free market. Simply stated, people don't behave prudently when they don't bear the full cost of their actions. The problem is that third-party payers have insulated people from the true cost of health care. The average visit to the doctor cost $199 in 2008, but only $28 of that comes from the out-of-pocket from the patient. Most of us simply have no idea how much medical procedures or regular checkups actually cost, and we don't even bother asking because our health insurance will simply pick up the tab for us. The government used to be significantly less involved in the healthcare sector. In 1960, the government covered 21.4% of personal medical care procedures and third-party payer at that point hadn't warped the private insurance system. As such, Americans directly paid for 55.2% of healthcare costs out of their own pocket. Unsurprisingly, healthcare was less expensive back then. But thanks to government, things have changed for the worst. Total personal medical spending has increased by more than 10 times over the past five decades. A study by Amy Finkelstein of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology suggests that nearly half of the increase in healthcare spending is due to increased health insurance coverage. Let's look at it this way. Health insurance rarely covers cosmetic surgery and laser eye surgery, and governments typically don't mandate that they be covered. Instead, people pay out of pocket for these surgeries. They shop around, compare prices, and think twice before spending their own dollars on such procedures. That is largely why the price of cosmetic surgery has stayed relatively stable over the past two decades. Now imagine if health insurance or government started paying for cosmetic surgeries. The demand and the price of cosmetic surgeries would surely rise dramatically. We all know that the 
cost of health care has skyrocketed in recent years. Unfortunately, not enough people place the blame where it belongs. The third-party payer system, created and subsidized by government, is one of the biggest reasons for rising costs and inefficiency in the healthcare sector. Third-party payers distort the market because the patient and the bill payer are not the same. As Econ 101 teaches, a rise in the demand for a good or service will increase its price. This is not to say that people should not have health insurance. The purpose of insurance is to help spread out the cost in case a catastrophic event occurs. Health insurance can make sense if it covers unforeseeable major medical expenses, but it makes less sense when it covers routine medical costs. Health insurance should be about risk management, not prepaying your health care cost. Ending the third-party payer system is the first step in reducing the excessive rate of growth in health care cost. This will require removing tax distortions that make a dollar of medical compensation more valuable to employees than a dollar of wages, reducing excessive coverage mandates by state governments, and reforming federal programs like Medicare and Medicaid. People blame a lot of different factors for the rise in healthcare costs, but the sooner that voters and policymakers acknowledge that the third-party payer problem is the main reason for the high cost of healthcare, the sooner we can make sure that America's healthcare system is as affordable, efficient, and effective as possible. My name is Julie Borowski from FreedomWorks. I hope you will help by sharing the Center for Freedom and Prosperity video with others.